Today's video is about 10 of my favorite things. So if you're interested in what they are, grab a snack and come on back. So I am now officially a Sweetwater affiliate. So for all of my viewers living in the US, links will be in the description box for most of what I'm gonna show you today. There might be a couple items that you won't be able to get there. You'll see why when I show them to you. But check the description box, click on the link, that'll take you straight over to, um, to the website and then you can shop from there. So this first thing, I started using these a couple of years ago and uh, I never went back, man. This is the Tama QC8 Quick Set Symbol Mate. This is a symbol topper that replaces the wing nut. You would be surprised at how much time this thing shaves off of your setup and your tear down. Because all you got to do is pop it on like that and take it off like that. Um, so these Tama ones are really cool, man. You just squeeze the little buttons, put it on, pop it back off. It's brilliant. When I am gigging, I usually travel with about four or five stands in the bag. So yeah, man, setup and tear down is just so much quicker when you can just pop the thing off and put it back on. Now this second favorite thing that I choose not to live without, I don't actually physically have here because I just realized I left it at the church. We're just, we just started shooting our Christmas production. That's why a lot of my symbols are missing. They're all sitting over there. Um, but the second one is the Gibraltar quick release hi-hat clutch. And I love this for the same reason as the Tama symbol topper. This thing shaves minutes off of your setup and your teardown. Because the way it's set up, there's no, like it's not a threaded design. You just push this button at the bottom and then the bottom half just kind of pops off. This is great for when you're showing up somewhere and there's a, there's a hi-hat stand that's, um, that's already there. You don't have to use the clutch on that stand. Just take it off, put it aside, grab yours, and then stick it on there. It takes like seconds to get your top hat on there. And then the other thing I love about it is the way that the clutch secures itself against the pull rod. Because normally, with a lot of clutches, it's got a nut on it. And when you tighten it down, it just kind of pushes up against the rod like that. Whereas this one pulls at it when you tighten it. So no matter how many times you stomp on it during the course of the night, it's never going to come loose on you. My third favorite thing has been my favorite thing ever since I discovered them and started using them, but they are the Promark 5A Rebound Active Grip Sticks. These sticks, ever since I discovered them, man, um, the whole select rebound concept is just brilliant. The taper is a little bit longer at the end, so the balance just feels awesome. Um, the, uh, the coating on the stick is just a little bit tacky, like it's not like, uh, it's not like dipped in rubber or anything, but there's a special sort of coating on these sticks that just feels really good to, to grip them while you're playing. And um, yeah, like I said, since I started using these, I haven't stopped using them. They're probably the stick that I stuck with the most since I started using them. Now this fourth one might surprise a lot of y'all out there. You know I'm a Yamaha guy for life. That'll never change. Yamaha all day. But when I was gigging, and when I was busy gigging, um, my hardware bag was like super heavy. And I'm in a basement. I got to carry the thing upstairs. I got to chuck the thing in the car. Sometimes, you know, you, you get to the venue and there's stairs there. And sometimes... You know, a heavy bag can get pretty super annoying. So a friend of mine introduced me to these. This is the DW Ultralight series of cymbal stands. When you pick one of these up for the first time, you're going to laugh out loud at how light it is. This is the um, straight version. I don't need boom stands because the way I set my kit up, 
you know, I don't need any kind of extra reach. Um, so these are all straight stands, but yeah, they're extendable, of course. Um, these things are really, really well put together. Um, the other thing I love about them is they're flat base stands like that, right? So they don't have the legs like this. They sit flat on the floor, which saves a lot of space on the floor. But the biggest thing, man, is how stupid, stupid light these things are. You can sling six of these over your shoulder, no problem. I was dealing a couple of years ago with a bit of a pinched nerve thing going on in my neck here. So um, I had to take some steps to lighten my load as much as possible. So when I was shopping around for lighter stands, I was introduced to these, look at that. I was introduced to these DW ultralights and I just, I never went back. I use these things all the time. They are freaking awesome. I also have the, um, the snare stand there, which is just as adjustable and even lighter than this. But like I said, they're built like tanks, man. Like nothing comes loose on you or, or, or anything like that. They're not cheaply made. So if you're looking to lighten your load, check out the DW Ultralight Series stands. This next favorite thing of mine, I did not expect to love these as much as I did when I started using them, but I have an assortment of big fat snare drum pads. And I tell you what, man, I will not walk out of the house with a snare without these. If you've never used one of these before, these will dramatically change the sound of your snare in seconds. The funny thing is, I don't know if you guys have seen my drum hack video, but I was showing you that you could do the same effect with a few sheets of paper, which is true. But there's such a variety in these from like super thick to really thin. And I tell you, man, like when you need a variety of snare sounds during your performance, all you got to do is pop one off, pop the next one on. And while you're playing them, they'll sound cool behind the kit, but you really hear the difference under the mic. That's where these things really shine, man. In a PA situation where your kit's mic'd up, you got a couple of mics on your snare, you can really hear the difference that these things make. And I absolutely love them. Big fast snare drum pads, five stars. Another favorite thing of mine that I can highly recommend, I'm actually sitting on it right now. This is the Ahead Spinal Glide Drum Throne. This is a super sturdy seat. It's a four-leg design, but um, it's a back saver and it's super comfortable. It's probably the most comfortable drum throne that I've ever sat on. And uh, well, this, there's been a couple, but this is definitely in the top three. But as you can see, the seat itself is a, is a split design and uh, it just helps to take the pressure off of your spine. So when you're sitting for long periods of time during those long shows, you're comfortable the entire time. So yeah, once I discovered this throne, take it everywhere I go, man. So yeah, if you're currently in the market for a really good, well-built, super comfortable drum throne, the Ahead Spinal Glide gets the beat down butt of approval. Now, if you're an OG drummer like me, and you could honestly care less, about using a bunch of electronics on your kit, then you might actually appreciate this one. But if you're a working drummer, you do a lot of R&B gigs um, or any other type of, you know, if you're in a wedding band or whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, and you just need a couple of single extra sounds. Maybe you need a finger snap, maybe a hand clap, maybe like an 808 drum or something. This thing, is really cool. This is the Roland SPD-1 percussion pad. It's just one single pad. It's got all the necessary government issue electronic sounds that you need to get you through the gig. Now the thing I love about it is that it's super easy to use. You can have it right beside you on your, uh, your hi-hat stand. It's not chock full of a million sounds, but it's got enough to make you happy. You just turn the dial to get the sound that you want. You can actually 
adjust the, um, the tuning or the pitch. You can control the, uh, the reverb or delay, just your two basic, um, basic and necessary effects that you need, just reverb and delay. Um, and it's just super easy to use, man, and really convenient. And like I said, when you just need one sound for that one song, and you don't need, you know, a whole rig beside you and a bunch of different pad setups and stuff, this is great. And you can just tuck it in to your hardware bag or wherever else, and um, just pull it out, one chord, done. Now this next one, I'll tell you what, when I say that this is one of my favorite things. I am almost emotionally attached to these. And these are the UV series of heads by Evans. The UV ones and the UV twos. I was one of the first ones, fortunate enough um, to be able to try the UV one head by Evans uh, when it was first introduced a couple of years ago. Didn't even have a name yet. Just said prototype on the thing. And I instantly fell in love with it and I haven't used another drum head since. I don't even know how many years it's been. Three, maybe four. Um, but I've never gone back. The UV1s and then later on they introduced the UV2s. But these are the only two drum heads that I will ever buy pretty much for the rest of my life. These drum heads sound fantastic. They're super durable. That coating is almost bionic. I've been using these for a long time. You can barely see any scratches on them or any stick marks. Um, they tune up super duper easy. They're just, they've been my favorite heads for a long time, especially when you pair them up with the Rezo 7s on your toms. So I'm going to throw these in there. This was kind of unplanned, but I just realized that I had the Rezo 7s on, um, on this kit. This combination, UV1 on the front, Rezo 7 on the, uh, on the underside, fabulous, man. This thing sings like crazy. Now, if you've been with this channel long enough, you know that uh, for a long time, I was the dude for inexpensive pro-level in-ear reviews. Told you a lot about the KZ ears, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of other sort of pro-level mid-market, but super, um, super affordable in-ears. And I've had a few favorites, but the one that I stuck with the longest and that I've never stopped using since I got them are the TRN V90s. The clarity is killer. The bass response is killer. The, um, the supplied silicone tips, super comfortable. These things do not slide out of my ears. Um, they have the whole, not the, um, not the wire, but it's got the flexible, flexible sort of shielded cable on there. So yeah, they don't come loose. And for a pair of ears that aren't technically considered pro level, I'll tell you what, these things will smash anything by sure. And the beauty about these things is that they're like under 60 bucks. It's crazy. And then finally, last thing on the list for today, I could not do a video telling you about my favorite things and leave these out. Puma Driftcat 5s. When I tell you that these are some of the best and sexiest shoes to play in. I am not kidding. I got about nine pairs of uh, Drift Cats. And um, yeah, they're just, they're super comfortable. They're flat, not flat, but they're thin soled. So you can feel the, uh, you can feel the pedals. They have a soft foam insert and they look super slick. I'll tell you what, man, if you're a serious drummer, and you're not playing in Pumas, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But yeah, man, I've been, I've been wearing Pumas to my gigs for like 10 years now. And uh, as long as it's not one where I have to dress up, you're going to catch me in a pair of Pumas. So those are just a few of my favorite things, but I'm sure you got some of your own. So let us know, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. 
Let us know which things that you just cannot or will not live without. Maybe you can give a few people some ideas for some stocking stuffers or just a treat for themselves. So that's it for this video, man. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Again, affiliate links to Sweetwater will be in the uh, description box. If you live up here in Canada, you'll be able to get most of this stuff at Long McQuaid as well. So just hit them up. Tell them Beatdown sent you. Probably won't help you out. I don't know if they know who I am, but tell them anyway. If you haven't already hit subscribe, there's the button right there. Make sure you mash that before you bounce. Check out the sale. Sale is on until the rest of the year. 15% off your order. Just use the discount code SALE2020. Just grab something from the merch shop. Thanks for watching this video. Share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.